Welcome to this informative video about Merlin. My name is Samantha and I will tell you more today about Merlin. What is it and what are the advantages of Merlin in your practice? In this video I will start with a short introduction about stroke and new forms of therapy. Then I will tell more about Merlin. What is Merlin? Who are eligible to train with Merlin? And what are the advantages for you as a therapist? I will end this presentation with the results of the Merlin study. Unfortunately, the stroke population is very large. In 2018 in the Netherlands, around 500,000 patients needed stroke care. 9,213 patients died. The patients that survive a stroke have to live with the consequences. For instance, trouble with using the arm or hand. Around 77% have trouble with using the arm or hand in daily life. If patients want to improve the arm or hand function, they have to train at least 16 hours. Patients that are in a chronic phase of stroke do not receive this intensive therapy. This may be partly due to the costs. Each year in the Netherlands, 1.5 billion euro is spent on stroke care. In the last years, new forms of therapy are emerging to take over some of the practice of the therapists. For instance, virtuality in which the patient can train in a different surrounding. Or with robotic devices. There are two different forms of robotic devices. The ones with a motor, so the patient does not have to move his own arm, but the device will move the arm to restore the neurological pathways. Or robotic devices without a motor, so the patient has to move his or own arm itself. However, it will be made easier, because the gravity is compensated. All these new technologies have one big drawback, it's very expensive. And now on to Merlin. Merlin is affordable, user-friendly and compact enough to be placed at home or in a rehabilitation facility. Merlin does not contain any motors, so the patient has to move his or her own arm. It will be made easier. The lower arm is placed in the orthosis to compensate for the gravity. The hand will be placed in the hand grip. A computer is delivered which contains the games and a placemat on which the device has to be moved. Patients that suffered from a stroke can train with Merlin. Maybe in future other patient groups can also train with Merlin, such as patients with other brain injury, spinal cord injury or MS patients. But first research has to be performed in these patient groups. For now, only stroke patients can train with Merlin. Patients cannot train with Merlin if they have acute pain, severe spasticity, osteoporosis or other fractures that are not healed completely, psychiatric disorders or other cognitive problems. Patients should at least be able to perform finger extension. This can be measured using a Fugumeyer assessment upper extremity skill. The item finger extension should be scored with at least a 1. For the more patients should be able to move the upper arm, at least some form of abduction or antiflexion. Otherwise they cannot move into the device or move the device around. Furthermore, patients should be cognitive able to use a computer and maybe have some computer experience. Lastly, if the patient is trading at home, should be able to have room to set the system up and a stable internet connection. Let's see how Merlin works. Merlin is easy to transport and quick to set up. Let's see how fast we can do this. The placemat is secured on the table to prevent it from moving. The playfield is big enough that it does not matter if a patient has to train his right or left hand. Then we attach the laptop arm to the table. The laptop will now be on eye level of the patient. The training device, the arm assist, is safely stored in a sturdy case. This way the device will not be damaged during transportation. The left and right hand support are easy to replace. Merlin is now ready for use. Now we can start training with Merlin. 
First, we need to put the arm into the device. So the lower arm goes into the orthosis and the hand into the hand support. We will secure the straps so the lower arm will not go anywhere. Then we can start performing different movements, such as movement in the horizontal plane, so over the table. We can also perform grasping movements with the hand support. We can perform lifting movement to train the muscles in the arm. And we can move the wrist. Let's start by playing a game. Now we can start the Merlin program. We see that games are available to train today. We can go to the message function. Here we see the messages that are sent between patient and therapist. We can also see the progression. We see which games were played in the last days and what score was achieved. Now let's start playing a game. Now we can try a memory game. I turn the cards by grasping and try to find a matching set. In this game we have to move in different directions to make the picture visible. Now I train the range of motion on my arm. Using Merlin you can train the arm at home using fun games. Merlin contains eight objective assessment games that measure different variables such as grip strength, speed of movement and range of motion. Merlin also contains eight games to practice for the patient. These games can be made more difficult by combining different movements. The therapist is able to assign the training at a distance. You will choose the game, the level, the duration of training and the movements that have to be performed to interact with the game. If the patient has trained, you will see how long he has trained, when he has trained, the score and the level. Graphs can show the progression of the patient. Merlin also contains a communication tool where you can send chat messages to the patient and vice versa. The advantages of using Merlin for you as a therapist. First of all, and most of all, you need less time per patient. Second, there's an objective evaluation of the progression of the patient. You can quickly see the past training and the future training that are planned. Merlin contains an accessible communication platform through which the patient feels connected to the therapist. Merlin is easy to transport and quick to set up. Within 30 minutes, the patient is ready to start his training. Merlin can lead to more training. As has been shown in the literature, more training is associated with a better improvement in arm and hand function. And lastly, Merlin is affordable in comparison to similar systems. This will contribute to sustainable healthcare. And finally, we would like to present to you the results of the Merlin study. This was performed in the Netherlands and in Spain. 14 males and 7 females participated, with a mean age of 65 years old. 13 patients had a paralysis on the left side and 8 patients on the right side. In the Dutch part of the study, 12 patients participated and they trained at home with Merlin for 6 weeks. All patients improved in arm function. We used 3 tests to measure this. The Figo Meyer assessment, the Wolf Motor Function test, and the Action Research Arm test. For each test, you see the maximum amount of points and the MCID, which is the minimal clinically important difference. The amount of points per test, which is really clinically meaningful to the patient. The improvement in Wolf Motor Function test and Figo Meyer assessment were more than the MCID, which meant that the improvement was clinically significant. This was not the case for the Action Research Arm test. This may be due to the specific finger functions that are asked during this test, but Merlin only mass grasp 
flexion and extension are practiced. From our study, we could draw a few conclusions. The biggest advantage was that patients could train at home and that they were able to determine when they wanted to train and for how long. All patients improved in arm function. They experienced more wrist mobility or more mobility in the shoulder. The games were fun and challenging according to the patients. However, there was not a lot of variation in games and they would like to change that in the future. Merlin was easy to understand and simple. After a training of only one hour, patients could independently train without any assistance. After six weeks, we were collecting the devices. Most patients said that they would like to have trained for longer. This shows that patients really enjoyed the training. Patients were able to train longer than they would have in usual care. It is known that after more training, patients improve more in arm function. This is also what we have shown in our study. The biggest disadvantage of the device was that it, that it was large and bulky, and therefore not really comfortable for all patients. So in short, Merlin was a great success. Thank you very much for watching this informative video. Goodbye!